All right, everyone. Welcome back. Today I have brought some previous year important questions based on applications to trigonometry. Yesterday we solved some important questions on trigonometry. The problems were sent by you only. All right. Today I'm solving some more problems. Um, actually, these are previous year. All right, important questions. We'll see the concepts and the solutions as well. If you have uh, some queries also, you can send it on WhatsApp groups or the Telegram group. You can search YI Maths Class X or the link is uh, given in the description of this video. All right, let's start. This is a question. The angle of elevation of the top Q of a vertical tower PQ from X on the ground is 60 degrees. This is some point X, all right? And PQ is a tower as given in question. From this point X to the top Q, this angle, the angle of elevation is given 60 degrees, all right? And it is also said that at a point Y, 40 meter vertically above X, 40 meter above, vertically above X is a point Y. And from this point to this point Q, this angle is 45 degrees. This is also given angle of elevation is 45 degrees. We have to find the height of the tower. So height of the tower is PQ is X plus 40 meter. This height is uh, what we need to calculate. And this high, and this distance, X cube, this distance, right? Hypotenuse of X, PQ. So let's start. So first we'll take a uh, triangle in triangle uh, by QA, all right? 10, 45 degrees. 10, 45 degrees will be QA upon Y A. 10, 45 is one. QA, we have let it as X. So I'll get the value of Y A from here as X meters. Okay, consider this equation now. Now, you see Y A will also be equals to XP. Yes, this is the horizontal distance. This is the horizontal distance. So both will be all right. Now I take triangle XQP. Apply trigonometric ratio. Then 60 degree will be equals to QP on XP. Now 1060 is root 3. And QP distance is the sum of QA and AP, that means X plus 40 degrees, not degree meters. And XP is X, right? So from here, I can solve this. Root 3X is equals to X plus 40. So root 3X minus X is equals to 40. Take X common and get root 3 minus 1 is equals to 40 or x is equals to 40 upon root 3 minus 1. This meters is my value of x. Now, because I cannot leave my answer in this way, I have to rationalize it. So multiply it with numerator as root 3 plus 1 and denominator also as root 3 plus. Any problem? I know it will be 40 root 3 plus 1 and in the denominator, I'll get root three whole square minus one square, right? A plus B minus B is root three square one square. That means I'll get 40 root three plus one upon three minus one, which is but two. And I have root three plus one. That means the value of X is 20 root three plus one meters. This is the value of x, all right? But I don't have to calculate the value of x. I need to calculate the value of pq, the height of the tower. And what is that? It is x plus 40 meters, all right? And what is x? x is 20 root 3 plus 1. And we have to add 40 meters to it, all right? So I can take 20 common. If I take 20 common from whole, I'll get root 3 plus one plus two. That means height of my tower is 20 root three plus three. You can leave your answer here, all right? But if in question it's given that take root three is equal to 1.732, then you have to calculate it further, all right? Let's put the value and try to find the answer then. 
what will be root 3? 1.732 and we have to add 3 to it. All right. So 20 into 1.732 plus 3 will be 4.732. And the double of it will be uh, 9464. All right. So 94.64 meters. So this will be my answer. This will be my answer for the height. All right. Also, I have asked this distance x squared. All right. So for x cube, I know I can apply sine 60 degrees. All right. And uh, sine 60 degree, I know is perpendicular. That means PQ upon hypotenuse that is x cubed and we need to find this x cubed sine 60 degree is nothing but root 3 by 2 all right i need to find this x cube pq is also given pq is 20 root 3 plus 3 all right upon x cube is equal to root 3 by 2 so i can solve this so finally x cube will be nothing but 20 root 3 plus 3, right, upon root 3 and into 2. If you solve it, you will get 40, right. If you take a root 3 out, you will get 1 plus root 3. This meter will be your answer, all right. If you solve it, if you solve it, you will get 40 into 2.732, all right? Yeah, if you solve it, or you can get 10928 uh, meters as your answer in points, all right? If you understood this, please comment. If you don't understand, then also comment, all right? Now, this is our second question. Here, yeah. This is same as an NCRT question. We were given our balloon is traveling and we need to calculate its speed. So similarly, we are given um, it, this question and this one. It says that there is an observer right, at point A and he was observing a jet plane. Initially, the plane was at this point X. All right? And the angle of elevation of jet plane from point A on the ground is 60 degrees here. Okay. Point X, the angle of elevation was 60 degrees. All right. Then it says that after a flight of 30 seconds, that, that means from X to Y, the angle of elevation changes to 30 degrees. Now, as it went, uh, as it reaches point Y, uh, the jet plane, the angle it reduces to 30 degrees. All right. And the distance here, X, Y, is your distance? Right. But ye distance x y or I can call it b c ye distance kitne seconds mein cover hua? thirty seconds. The concept says that we need to calculate the speed of a jet plane, which will be the distance traveled in the time given. And what is the distance? You can take as x y or you can take it b c. All right, thirty seconds. All right. Instead of x, y, I'll write it bc upon 30 seconds. All right. It will, it will be uh, my distance in meter per second. Meter per second. So how to solve it? Let's start. First, let me calculate. Uh, I'll take the triangle A, X, B. And here, 1060 degrees will be x, B upon A, B. 1060 degree, I know is root 3, xb, xb is given. Yes, xb is given. What is xb? Uh, let me change the color so that we remember that it is given. All right. We are given xb is equals to yc and it is given equals to root 3 meters. All right. So I'll continue the question. xb. Yes, here, you know, this height is also given, this this height. It says that this constant height will fly. This height or this height is constant. When 
जब मेरा जेट प्लेन जो है वो एक्स पॉइंट से वाई पॉइंट तक रीच कर रहा है सो एक्स बी दिस डिस्टेंस इज गिवन थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड थ्री एंड आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट दिस डिस्टेंस ए बी फ्रॉम हेयर आई कैन राइट ए बी इज इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्स डबल जीरो टू थ्री अपॉन ए थ्री सो आई गेट ए बी एस थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड मीटर्स राइट आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड अप टू हेयर देन आई टेक अनदर ट्राइंगल वॉट इज दर ट्राइंगल Multiply by root three. That means I have to do three times. It will be one zero eight double zero meters. I see. So for distance, I need to calculate BC. What will be BC? It will be AC minus AB. It happens sometimes. Huh? A C minus A B. All right. What is A C? A C is here. We have calculated A C one zero eight double zero, and A B is thirty six hundred. Subtract it. So B C will be double zero two six. All right. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Right, right. So seventy-two hundred meters is our distance. So we have to calculate the speed. Speed will be distance that is BC upon time that is thirty seconds. So BC is seventy-two hundred and time is thirty seconds. So you get three two three four zero two forty meter per second. And if you are asked your answer in Kilometer per hour, you have to multiply it by eighteen upon five. If I'm right, yes, I'm right, absolutely right. So just multiply it and divide by five, or you can just double it and divide by ten. So if you just double it, you will get twelve uh, into seventy-two, and I know this is what um, eight six four kilometer per. If you don't understand where this fraction came from, do you tell me in comments. All right. So this is our final answer. All right. Keep practicing such questions, important questions, previous year questions. All right. They are very important for board examinations. And if you are stuck at any problem, just send it. Don't waste your time. And yes, I know you are watching this video on YouTube, but still I'll say, don't waste your time looking for problems. All right, important problems. There are no important problems. All right, all the problems are important. So don't find them on YouTube. Just solve them from books, from previous year papers. And when you are stuck on some problem, then find their solution. Don't waste your time on YouTube. All right, I'll see you again soon with some more important questions.